Hello guys, welcome to Developine. I am Hamad Tariq and in this video I will be talking about Flutter. So what is Flutter? Flutter is mobile app SDK for creating 2D native mobile apps for Android and iOS using single code base. So Flutter is a programming framework built on Dart and Dart is programming language. So using Flutter you can write code in one language a single code base and the language is Dart and then you can customize uh, your application for different platforms like Android and iOS and then you can build and deploy your apps on these different platforms. So Flutter is a 2D rendering engine. It is a modern reactive framework. Flutter has ready-made widgets for use and uh, Flutter has development tools for all major platforms uh, for developing Android and iOS app. And uh, there is no bridge between the framework and the Flutter widgets due to which rendering is efficient and animations are smoother in Flutter apps. So uh, as uh, I forgot to uh, tell you that in this video we will be talking about Flutter SDK, Flutter as a framework and which programming language uh, you can use for developing mobile apps using Flutter. Uh, in fact, I am talking about Dart programming language and why Flutter uses Dart programming language and uh, then uh, we will see what are the tools and technologies we can use uh, for developing mobile apps using Flutter SDK and uh, then uh, we will see who is using Flutter application at the end of the video we will create a new Flutter application in Android Studio and then I will explain you uh, the project structure and uh, code structure and just I will uh, try to uh, explain you the code syntax of Flutter and uh, how it uses Dart programming language uh, for building native mobile apps. Okay, let's continue. So, uh, I think I explained uh, much uh, that Flutter is a Dart framework and it uses Dart programming language and uh, it uh, ships with a huge set of pre-built widgets and UI elements. So let me explain you about Flutter SDK and Flutter framework through this diagram. So Flutter has uh, basically two components or uh, two parts. Uh, Flutter is a framework which is built on Dart programming language which uses Dart as a programming language and Flutter has SDK. So if you uh, are, are talking about Flutter or uh, if you develop apps using Flutter you will be using the Flutter framework and the Flutter SDK. The framework uh, will provide you set of utility functions uh, for adding widgets or UI elements in your application and Flutter SDK will provide you uh, build tools uh, and all that. So you can test and deploy your apps on different platforms and Dart which is the programming language enables compilation uh, of Flutter code into native 32-bit uh, and 64-bit ARM code for Android and iOS. So why Flutter uses Dart as a programming language? Because Dart is a, a strongly typed object-oriented programming language and it has support for just-in-time and ahead-of-time compilation. Okay, what is just-in-time compilation or JIT compilation? Uh, with the help of JIT compilation, code is continuously recompiled on mobile devices on which your app is running, through which uh, Flutter allows you hard reload your apps. Uh, I will tell you about hard reload when we will create a new Flutter application in Android Studio. And Flutter also support ahead of time compilation. So what is ahead of time or AOT compilation? The app, your, the code your app uses is directly compiled to native ARM, which enables fast startup and excellent performance. So ahead of time compilation is that your app is compiled into native 32-bit or 64-bit native ARM code due to which we can uh, say that using Flutter you can develop native mobile apps 
because the byte code uh, will be same for Android and iOS, the machine code actually. Characteristics of Flutter Flutter enables you to build beautiful native mobile apps and Flutter is fast. It is powered by same hardware accelerated uh, Skia 2D graphics engine that underpins Chrome and Android. Flutter is productive, straightful, heart ha reload. Uh, we will explore this uh, when we will create new app in Android Studio. Flutter is free and open source. And uh, Flutter IDE support. Flutter has support for Android Studio, IntelliJ IDEA, Xcode, and Visual Studio Code. And Flutter can be installed on Windows, Mac, or Linux. So, Flutter embraces platform differences. As you know that both Android and iOS are different platforms and apps uh, the app uh, even the ui of the app uh, designed uh, and developed for android and ios is same even then there are many differences uh, for a single application which flutter embraces uh, how flutter embraces platform differences uh, flutter has support for material design components for android and uh, it also has uh, ios style uh, cupertino widgets support due to which uh, you can customize your application look for different platforms so who is using flutter uh, alibaba uses uh, flutter used flutter for their uh, application which has 50 plus million users uh, google ads uh, mobile application is uh, developed using flutter hamilton musical app is also developed using flutter okay now we will create a new uh, project in Android Studio and then we will explore uh, the project structure and different files and all that. Okay, I have already created a new Android Studio. Whenever you will create a new uh, Flutter application in Android Studio, uh, this will uh, file will be opened by default and this is the template project. This is uh, provided by default. Okay let's close this and let's open this flutter app so as you can see that flutter has uh, this project has android folder which uh, which can be used for uh, any platform uh, related configuration uh, which has uh, build out cradle files for modules and project build out cradle files and uh, you can see that the android folder contains the android code and ios uh, folder has uh, xcode workspace and all that you can see this info.p list and all that so these are uh, uh, different folders for android and ios and this lib folder it contains uh, your flutter code dart code actually main dot dart file everything you will uh, create is uh, will go here the flutter your application will actually start from here main function this will be called this will be the starting point of your application this run app method will be called and here we are uh, passing a new my app argument and we are initializing my app class here and uh, the my app extends a stateless widget which i will explain in another video and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel because uh, i will be uh, uploading uh, flutter tutorials every week so you will learn a lot in my upcoming videos so let's remove this code because uh, it will be uh, it will uh, create confusion for you uh, because we will just uh, write code we will not follow, uh, use this code actually so okay let me remove this all okay so this widget is the root of your application so every uh, as i al already told you that everything in flutter is a widget so your main function which co which will be uh, calling this run app method and this run app method requires a widget here we are uh, returning this method a widget this is the return type of this build function 
okay now if i uh, run this application on my emulator it will uh, take some time uh, uh, we will upload uh, we will deploy this application on uh, emulator and uh, then i will uh, write some code here and then you can see uh, okay the gradle initialization has started here is how you can uh, create a new flutter project in your android studio you can select flutter application click next and then uh, enter the project name here uh, you can select the project location as you can see that flutter sdk is installed on my windows machine and uh, due to which i can create uh, flutter apps in my Android Studio. You also need a plugin. If I go to settings, plugins, I can uh, search for Flutter. Okay, update is also available. Uh, Flutter support for de developing Flutter applications. Flutter gives developers an easy and productive way to build and deploy cross platform high performance mobile apps on both android and ios and this uh, flutter plugin also need dart programming dart plugin which support for the dart programming language okay now it will take some time uh, because uh, the first time initialization takes some time and after the app is installed on my machine uh, then okay this is the base uh, widget of my application i am returning a new material app widget and uh, material app uh, the title of my application is flutter demo and uh, here we can uh, provide uh, application theme uh, here we can provide uh, primary secondary colors and all that and the theme data can be configured here and uh, if uh, if i uh, expand uh, what else i can add here is you can see that uh, this uh, material app uh, requires a home property which will be of uh, the home and its value will be of type widget okay if i select home and now i uh, i need to pass a widget for example if i want to show text on the screen i can uh, write like this and uh, the value of this is hello world text widget okay this is uh, how you can add different widgets on your in your flutter application okay thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel because uh, i just started exploring and uh, learning flutter and i will uh, continuously share with you what uh, whatever i will learn from flutter thank you